the eyeballs are about that big around. When you're a giant squid, what, what do you eat? Anything you want. Animal X investigates the weird world of animal mysteries. First, down to the depths to hunt an elusive eight-armed predator, one with a razor-sharp beak. The ocean covers two-thirds of our planet. It is a deep, dark, alien world. Somewhere in this great expanse of water is one of the most mysterious creatures of the modern age, the giant squid. We know so much more about dinosaurs than we do about giant squid. I believe we are going to see one of these alive. I believe it's just a matter of time and a matter of persistence. Animal X travels to Washington and Auckland, New Zealand to follow two scientists as they unravel the truth about the ocean's largest and most misunderstood sea monster. In Washington, Dr. Clyde Roper is a research zoologist at the Smithsonian Institute. On the other side of the world, in New Zealand, zoologist Dr. Ellen Forsch is also dedicated to studying the giant squid. They are both part of the great race to be the first human to see one alive. The giant squid is very, very large, very large. Um, by far, uh, the largest invertebrate in the animal kingdom does have a, a tubular a tubular body with a pair of fins on it, um, a, a, a head with uh, two huge eyeballs, eight arms uh, that uh, can stretch out to perhaps uh, 15 feet or so in total length. Uh, each arm has two to 300 suction cups that it uses to capture its prey. The whole body is a locomotion machine for jet propulsion. So they are huge, they have weapons, they're powerful. We know so very little about them. For centuries and centuries, uh, people have talked about this, this giant creature that, uh, that made sailors and seamen uh, fearful, and they were called a kraken. Kraken is so huge that it could reach up out of the ocean and grab the ship and pull it over on its side and eat the men. No basis in fact whatsoever. The first ones modern science came across were in the late 1800s. When the first one turned up that I saw in 1983, there'd been a gap of some 30 to 50 years. To me, it felt like it was the first giant squid that had arrived in quite some time. Several hundred specimens have been reported, but no one has ever seen a live giant squid. And that's really my objective. Can you imagine seeing that eyeball, seeing that living eyeball? I mean, it, it is going to be magnificent. The giant squid's massive eye is the largest known eye in the animal kingdom. The eyeballs are about that big around, perhaps the size of a soccer ball or, or, or a human head. Why do these animals need big eyes if they live in the, in the deep sea, in the inky blackness of the deep sea? They need them because uh, even though it is dark, the deep sea is in fact filled with light but it's a different kind of light. It's called bioluminescence, light produced by the animals that live there, similar to the fireflies that we see in, the, in this area in the, in the uh, early summer. This incredible light source enables the giant squid to track down its prey, because like many of the mighty creatures that roam the oceans, the giant squid is a hunter. Giant squids are built to hunt. They use uh, their, their eyesight, for locating prey, uh, and then they use the two long feeding tentacles uh, to approach the prey and to zing out and zap the prey. They've got over 100 suckers on each arm, and they've got eight arms. They've got a parrot-sized beak. It's got muscles around it that are definitely designed to rip and tear. But when you're a giant squid, what, what do you eat? Anything you want, because they are big enough to catch almost anything they want. 
But despite its enormous size and its finely tuned ability to hunt, the giant squid still has its own enemies to contend with. Well, fabled battles between giant squids and sperm whales definitely happen, uh, no doubt about it. The scars are all over the, the sperm whales. They're both huge, they're massive animals, and you can imagine these two animals fighting for survival, the sperm whale fighting for its food, the giant squid fighting to escape. A giant squid may weigh as much as one ton. A sperm whale will weigh 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 tons. My very strong belief is that the sperm whale always wins. The sperm whale may be a terrifying and victorious predator, but the giant squid is a creature of great intelligence. It has found its own way to survive, evolve, and avoid any contact with man. Their near relations, the octopus, have actually been taught things, and uh, there's no reason to believe that, that squid can't, couldn't do so as well. For heaven's sakes, they're mollusks. They're related to snails and clams, but they are just incredibly highly evolved because they have such a highly developed brain. Our lack of ability to catch them, I think, is probably the best indicator of their intelligence. Even though they are intelligent, occasionally giant squid accidentally get caught up in fishing nets or washed up on beaches. New Zealand fisherman Mike Smith was out on his boat one day when something unexpected turned up in his nets. It was barely alive. We could see that there was something meshed about halfway up the net. We could see it was leaving quite a big wash behind it. I was amazed. It was just incredible. We, um, yeah, we just couldn't believe it. We just contacted the scientists and yeah, told them we had it, and they were down within the hour to get it. Once again, the scientists eagerly arrived to collect the dead specimen. But with all that modern technology has to offer, why can't they find the giant squid in its natural habitat? People ask, how can you have such a huge animal? largest, largest invertebrate ever to have lived and not know where it lives and not see it alive. And the answer is simple. It lives where we don't go. It lives in the deep sea. And, and uh, we humans have, have penetrated into the deep sea in little bits and pieces. But when you think of the gigantic, the massive size of the oceans, our explorations uh, really a minuscule tip of the iceberg. Using cameras and research submarines, Dr. Roper and other scientists have attempted to find the giant squid. They are yet to succeed. Once believed to be a terrifying sea monster, but now, seen as this century's greatest natural detective story, the giant squid is still out there, somewhere. Mysterious tales of the animal world continue to fascinate and perplex us. After all, it's said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. You've just seen some of them on Animal X. We blew the horn to see if it would move, and it, the creature came up out of the water about five feet, a long neck and a big head. It was taller than an NBA basketball player, more buff than an NFL football player, and it, it could have just crumbled me. They're a group of animals that will always try and survive, but when some get into trouble, the others do. 